Season 2 of Mixed Match Challenge is announced. Some of the teams that we love, some of the teams are kind of questionable. These are our Mixed Match Dream Team. Yes. Alright, this is Ring the Bells DS. And I'm Lola Star. And today we're gonna talk about some of the dream teams that we wanna see in Mixed Match Challenge. Yes. A lot of the teams that they decide is kind of. Some mixed. are a little awkward. Some of them are a little awkward. Didn't let's, really see coming. Let's talk about the teams that we love Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman. Oh, their romance? I wonder if we're gonna see more of that now. I really hope so. Because they were really, like, really, really getting good. crazy yeah. last season. Like, it's not the main storyline. They can yeah. just kind of, a, they can do whatever. They can do fun stuff. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I mean, it's always nice to see Trent and John together. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah. Also, yeah. I love Mandy and Goldust. Yes. That was like. I really wish they would have came back again. I know. That so, been nice. there have been some great teams, but some of them are also questionable. Here are our pick when it comes to the Dream Mix Match Tag Team. So let's go with you first. I have Nia Jax and Roman Reigns. Nia Jax and Roman Reigns. Samoan. Yeah, yeah. Samoan heritage going. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the big dog and the irresistible force. They will be very overpowering. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Team dominance. Mm -hmm. And then they're both, you know, highly decorated. Collectively, we have Roman, who's the current Universal Champion. Mm -hmm. He's been United States Champion, mm -hmm. Tag Team Champion. Yes. And then Naya is, has been a champion and also a reality star in her own right. Did Roman ever interact with women superstars before? Mm -hmm. Him and Sasha had a little oh, like, program for a little that. bit. I mean, Sasha was like a top face. I think that was like her second reign as champ. Mm -hmm. yeah. On WWE.com, they had their own dream list and they put Roman and Trish. Oh, that would be nice. And I was like, please now. <laughs> I really liked when John Cena teamed up with uh, Trish. Oh yeah, that, that was really Christmas nice. Christmas match. Yes. But. So here's my first pick. My first pick is Shinsuke Nakamura and Asuka. And I know, Here they're team Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> they're team Japanese. It might be a boring pick. I don't know. No, they're both very talented and I think they would, I could see them like doing great things. They are two Royal Rumble winners. But here's the thing, there's a reason I paired them together. So mm -hmm. both of them won Royal Rumble, failed to win the title. Oh yeah. Now they are here on SmackDown being kind of an afterthought it's, you know yeah, I see that. so Shinsuke is a US title holder he is a champion but he's not currently in a storyline he's kind of in a backseat when Jeff and Randy Orton is like doing their Hell in the Cell match for me as a Asian wrestling fan mm -hmm. I saw how like WWE like failing to understand how to book Asians like it was always comedy act mm -hmm. or like Gail Kim Matrix like robot but I like, like the you know, international um, one I don't think they knew how to book them for a long time it was so refreshing to see like two like powerful Asian wrestlers both in male and women's division but it's kind of sad that they're in the backseat even though they achieve so much I do want to pair them together and show us what Asians are all about <laughs> I actually while researching this I figured out that Nakamura <laughs> calls Asuka a hillbilly <laughs> why because she uses like Osaka dialect Osaka Japanese really strong accent <laughs> Yeah, mm. different. <laughs> yeah. So it's like almost like slang. I don't know, maybe like southern English. Shinsuke has some like hard time understanding. <laughs> they can show that to American audience. You know, American yeah. audience might think, you know, oh, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, all friends. But you know what? They are not showing that, oh, we have different dialects. You know, like showing that kind of like cultural stuff that has never been showcased on WWE. Yeah. You know, when it comes to cultural thing, it's usually like their heels, like Rusev. Right. Russian. But you know, show different uh, like authentic flavors like yeah. how crazy rich Asians did you know so yeah. I would love to see that pairing so what's your next pairing my second one is gonna be Peyton Royce and Ty Dillinger Ooh. the iconic 10 lovers yeah mm -hmm. but they're keeping it really hush hush I would assume that they're together based on like his cute little comments under her page mm -hmm. and then there's a couple photos there of them there's a couple photos they're together. actually really they're... really cute yeah mm -hmm. Peyton Royce yeah she can go she knows that she her. can go she's got that widow's peak going oh um, i love that move mm -hmm. i just like uh. especially with someone like peyton royce who doesn't get that much airtime on smackdown well mm -hmm. kind of well recently they have recently but, they have yeah. seems like mixed tag team match could be a perfect avenue for them to show some character especially ty because ever since he's came to main roster it's been like dark match after dark match mm -hmm. and then backstage segment yeah and he can go too he's very talented mm -hmm. that would benefit a lot from mixed match tag team match yeah and yeah. then of course billy wouldn't just sit to the side so it'd technically be the iconics and Time. It's gonna be like a three-way relationship. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I 
That would be salacious. Remember when when Daniel Bryan had the storyline with Gail Kim and the, and the Bellas? <laughs> Apparently, that's like the first time they kissed. Bree and Daniel. Yeah. But then Daniel kissed N- Nikki too. But- <laughs> But they weren't together at the time. If you're married and your first kiss was right after you kissed my sister, isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, that's yeah, that is really weird. Yeah. That's show business. It is show business. <laughs> All right, so my second pick is Dean Ambrose and Nikki Cross. She's a different one for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> Dean Ambrose, of course, the his nickname man. is the Lunatic Fringe. If you compare him to like other crazy characters, he's not like kind of chill. He's pretty chill. Yeah. He's really not that crazy. He's just kind of like goofy. Yeah. So he just jokes around. Yeah. He's um, almost like a watered down Jeff Hardy because they both like they're very extreme and they'll just do wild shit. But... Everyone calls him lunatic, but he never really showed us what lunatic yeah. is. But guess what? Nikki Cross. Oh, <laughs> she could bring it out of him. <laughs> she is messed up, and <laughs> she will show. Dean Ambrose, what the real lunatic is. I mean, she like uh-huh. takes off her jacket and she's like whipping I it everywhere know. and biting on the rope. And the really cute thing about Mixed Match Challenge is that they do like cute like entrances together. Yeah. Or, like moves together. And if Nikki Cross does that, it might really inspire, <laughs> inspire him to him do, to do something. some crazy stuff. I, I could think... see him doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, have you seen what Dean Ambrose did before WWE? Yeah, he had like pink hair and like... He was crazy. Yeah. I think a lot of people are kind of waiting for that Dean Ambrose to be back. Mm-hmm. So this might be their chance. Maybe if he ever turns heel again, maybe they'll okay. bring some of that mm-hmm. out. I'm thinking about some mutually beneficial um, relationships here, so I think this will be that. So what's your last pick? So my last pick is going to be from the UK. The UK. Paige and Tyler Bate. Ooh. Okay. Young hotties. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. They have some similarities because they both started out really young, won their title really young. And they were the first for both of their divisions. That is because she was the true. first NXT Women's Champion, oh. and he was the first NXT UK Champion. That is very true. I just want to tell you, I love Tyler Bate. <laughs> and I am in love with Tyler Bate. <laughs> For me, Paige, if she ever comes back, she talked a lot about talking to Edge and mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan. I want to pair her up with Daniel Bryan. Okay. Because they're both SmackDown GMs. Yeah. If she comes back, they will be both like coming back from injury. From a you career know. ending injury, yeah. Ah, so if she does, that'll be great. I really hope Paige can... I hope back. so too. Yeah. But she's missing out on everything. Like Yeah, and she started uh, this. She, and she started really is, so yeah. the movement with match with Aunt Emma back in NXT. Yes, so. a true pioneer. It's really sad. But she's doing great as GM. I really yeah. enjoy her role yeah. as GM because she's so And funny. she looks great. Mm, she looks amazing. My last pick is quite controversial. AJ Styles and Michelle McCool. Oh, flawless. I don't know if you remember, but there was this whole drama between them back in 2010. Oh, when, over their finisher? Yes, when Michelle McCool started using Faithbreaker. Basically, that's a move that AJ Styles created. What do you think did it better? They do it differently. <laughs> I don't know. But here's the thing, there's the other commonality is that they both wear hoodies. Oh yeah, they sure do. At the entrance. Yeah. Yeah, so there was this weird rumor saying that is Michelle McCool like in love with AJ Styles <laughs> or something like that? What is going on? They're both kind of southern. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're kinda of, and then she's very they're religious. Just connected like that. Yeah, and she's, she's religi- religious too. Yeah, that's why she has the, the cross and everything. I'm Michelle McCool and I'm loving life. I'm Michelle McCool. And I'm loving life. I'm Michelle McCool, and I'm loving life. Maybe that's how they're so inspired. Maybe they're friends, and we don't know. No, they're not. Maybe, like, their wives talk, like Undertaker's wife and his wife talk. Nancy? Um, No, because AJ Styles tweeted about how, like, he asked Gail Kim if she knew anything about Michelle McCool using it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, or something like that. Because it seems like AJ Styles doesn't know Michelle McCool back then. (laughs) Oh. Um, wow. And then AJ Styles was talking about, it's okay, like, everyone knows that it's my move, but I didn't know that it was his move back then. I thought it was Michelle McCool's <laughs> cool move, to be honest. Now that they're both in WWE, yeah. even though Michelle's, like, kind of out, kiss and make out. <laughs> be a team. Do fake breakers together. Be phenomenally flawless. Yes. 
Ooh. That's a good one. So those were our six picks for mm -hmm. our dream team for Mixed Match Challenge. Do we have some honorable mentions? I would personally love to see Bianca Belair, the EST of NXT, and her street prophet hubby Montez Ford. I want to see Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey. What about Lacey Evans and who would go perfect with the lady? Who's classy? Oh, like Aiden English or something? Because he's a gentleman. Oh, <gasps> I like that. Ah! I like that hair. I also want Finn Balor team up with one of the drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race because <laughs> basically what he does whenever he does demon is drag. It's drag. <laughs> I also want AJ Styles and AJ Lee. <laughs> Oh, so I could just AJ with each Team other? AJ. Team AJ. Yeah, they could just AJ each other. And then lastly, I want Santino and Santina. I'm Santino Marella's twin sister from Italy. He'll be like Chelsea Green, like half Santina, half... <laughs> if Santino and Santina can compete in Mixed Match Challenge, I'll forgive Santina for winning that Battle Royale the at Russell WrestleMania. Miss, Miss WrestleMania Battle Royale. I am still bitter about that. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. This was DS. You can follow me on Nintendo Boy DS on Instagram. And I'm Lola Star. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Lola Star. All right. Bye. Bye.